My name is David, and this is my story. I grew up in a nice town called Lakeville, about 30 minutes south of here. I love knowing a majority of the people there, and mainly just hanging out with most of my friends. I have so many awesome friendships back home, and my relationships with others continues to grow especially the relationship between me and my beautiful girlfriend, Dan. She goes to a school out in Washington, and it's hard because we're so far away. But I did manage to fly out there and visit her, and I'm so excited for her to come home. My family means the most to me, and we go through absolutely everything together. I have two amazing parents. An extremely hard working father. And an unbelievably loving mother. I also grew up with a brother and sister. And how the heck can I forget my little puppy named Coco? My grandpa doesn't live with us, but it sure seems like he does. He's always visiting and just like spending time with his grandkids. He's my role model and has taught me how to overcome challenges in his life by going through plenty of his own. My brother and I spent a lot of time together playing basketball and it was fun until he got better than me. Then I just kind of gave up. Sports are my passion. If I'm not doing homework, I will be playing sports with my friends. I'll never forget my senior year when we made it to the state championship for basketball. And also, making it to the state tournament and playing in the Metrodome. High school was fun and I had a lot of memories, but it was time to move on. It was a tough choice for me on deciding if I wanted to go to St. Thomas or the U of M, and I'm positive I made the right choice. So far, my time here at the U has been awesome, and I can't complain at all. Well, for the most part. The showers here are so small, and the dorm food is okay. Pioneer Hall is where I live. I actually really enjoy it here despite the no air conditioning when it's super hot out. I have a single dorm and it's very nice. I can do all my studying in there and it's nice to just get away and sit in peace. Some people think that with having a single dorm, it's harder to make friends. Do you want my opinion? That's definitely not the case at all. I absolutely love going to Gopher hockey games, and who wouldn't? They're one of the best in the country. I also enjoy going to some Gopher football games. Intramural sports are pretty fun, and they're usually a good way to get involved. When I'm not hanging out with friends, I'm usually studying, or eating, and Kaufman is a great place to do that. Another good place to study is in the ATS office in Appleby Hall. When I was first admitted to the University of Minnesota and placed in ATS, I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was for people that needed help through college, so I had a mindset that I was way too good for the program. I thought about it and gave it a chance, and it turned out to be different than I expected. My closest friends are actually in the program with me, and being in ATS is probably the best thing academically that has happened to me so far at the U. I have learned about my top five strengths and how I can use them with my future career. My number one strength is Includer, and that means I enjoy including other people and I'm usually accepting of others. I'm usually aware of other people being left out and I feel like I should do something about it. Another one of my main strengths is belief, and this is most important to me. 
I have developed strong relationships with others through a student-led group called Crew, and I love being involved in it. I like reading the Bible and learning more about Jesus Christ, our Savior. I'm anxious to see how my top five strengths can be used in my future here at the U. This is an amazing school, and I can't wait to see how the next three and a half years unfold. Why? It's not a question mark.